Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to unlock your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and this will also work for any other Samsung Galaxy phone. First, let's quickly break down the three types of locks that exist. Number one, we have the network lock, also known as a carrier lock or SIM lock. This lock limits you from switching providers and using SIM cards abroad. Number two, we have the passcode lock. This is for cases where you have forgotten your passcode or lost access to your phone, making your phone completely useless. If this is your case, don't worry. We will show you how to regain access to your Samsung Galaxy step by step with the hard reset method. And number three, we have the FRP lock, which stands for Factory Reset Protection Lock. This may happen if you have forgotten your passcode from Google account or if you bought a secondhand device locked with the account of the previous owner. In this video, I'll guide you through some ethical solutions that actually work that will allow you to regain access to your device safely. I have included timestamps, so feel free to skip this video to the part that you need. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with the network unlock. This lock limits you from switching providers and using SIM cards abroad. With a network unlock, you will free your phone and will allow you to use it with any carrier, SIM card or eSIM. And it's necessary if you want to switch providers or if you want to use a different SIM card while traveling abroad. This will help you save on roaming fees and on top of that, you will be increasing the resale value of your device as you could sell it to anybody regardless of their service provider that they use. Keep in mind that this will not work for phones that have been reported as lost or stolen. If your device is blacklisted, this method will not work. If you're not sure if your phone is blacklisted, I have included a link to a video in the description below where I show you exactly how to find out. And if you're wondering, yes, you can unlock a phone even if it's under an active contract with your current service provider. Now, there are different ways to carry out a network unlock. First, you could take it to a phone shop. And the downside of that is that you will be handling over your phone with all your personal information to somebody else, which can be risky and insecure. You could also contact your carrier, but in most cases, they are unwilling to unlock your phone to try to make you use their services forever, or maybe you're still tied under a two-year contract with them. That's why I recommend using a professional online unlocking service as the one we will be using today, which is secure, reliable, easy to use, but most importantly, it's legal and safe for your phone. And the last thing that I have to mention is that unlocking a phone is not a free process, and I'll show you the method and then you later decide if you want to proceed. So here's how it works. The first step is to find your IMEI number required for this unlock. To find it, go to the dial pad and dial star hash zero six hash. As you will see, the 15-digit IMEI number will show up in the screen of your device. Alternatively, you can find this number in the phone settings or in the original box that it came in. Once you have your 15-digit IMEI number, we're going to switch to a computer or a mobile device with internet connection. Now head over to unlockriver.com where we will use the carrier unlock service. I will include all the links in the description of this video. We'll start by filling in this form. First, select the original network and country that your phone is currently locked to. Then select the brand. Then we will select the exact model that we're trying to unlock. And here's a side note. If you're unlocking a T-Mobile phone, sometimes you will see here the option to select unlock app. That only applies for US T-Mobile devices. Otherwise, just ignore this part. Next, insert the IMEI number. That's the number that we got a few seconds ago. Be sure to enter the email correctly as you will receive the unlock code confirmation here. If you scroll down, you will see the price and the processing time, which will always vary. Let's click unlock now. On the following screen, you will get to see a summary of your order, review that all the information is correct and place your order. After placing your order, you will receive two emails. The first email confirming your order and the second one after the unlock has been successfully completed. The second email should look something like this. In this email, you will receive an unlock code together with instructions to finalize the process. The most important part of this email is the unlock code. So turn off your phone, then insert a new SIM card from a different carrier. If you are using an eSIM, I'll show you a method later. Then restart your phone. It will take a few seconds to recognize the new SIM card and a message will show up requesting the unlock code. If you don't see this message or if you're trying to install an eSIM, go to the dial pad and dial star 74656256638 star hash. This will bring up the message requesting the network unlock code. So go ahead, insert the code and boom. Our Samsung Galaxy has been successfully unlocked and now it's compatible with any eSIM or any SIM card from any country. For those of you that are trying to unlock a Samsung from United States T-Mobile, you should use the device unlock app which comes pre-installed or you can download it. Just open it and press permanent unlocked and your device should be factory unlocked. Now let's just quickly verify that the phone has been successfully unlocked by making a quick call. Perfect, and that's it. Your phone has been successfully unlocked and now we can use it with any SIM card anywhere in the world. 
and that's how you unlock any Samsung phone. Now let's cover the passcode unlock. So we all have been there. You pick up your phone and you can't remember your passcode or your security pattern. If you're locked out, we will show you how to do a hard reset to regain access to your phone. Now, before we proceed, keep in mind that this method is not a bypass or hacking of any type. We will do a factory reset on this Samsung device to bring it back to its factory settings. Before we start, make sure to back up any important data as this process will erase all the data of this device. Let's jump in. First, you'll need to connect your phone to a computer using the USB cable. Make sure that you have at least 20% battery left. And now, we will enter recovery mode. This varies by Samsung model, so I recommend googling how to enter recovery mode on your specific Samsung model. But for most of the Samsung devices, this is how you enter recovery mode. With the phone turned on, hold the power button and the volume down buttons together for about 10 seconds until the phone shuts down completely. After the screen goes off, press and hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time. Keep holding it until you see the Samsung logo appear. Once it does, release the buttons. In a few seconds, the Android recovery menu should appear. Since the touchscreen won't work in this mode, use the volume up and volume down to scroll. Scroll down to where it says wipe data factory reset. Here's a warning. If you proceed to reset this device, there's a chance that you will need the Google account email and password linked to this device, even after the reset is completed. And then press the power button to select it. So let's proceed. On the confirmation screen, scroll down to where it says factory data reset and press the power button again. When it's finished, you'll be back at the recovery menu. Now scroll to reboot system now and press power button to restart your device. After a while, your device will restart. The first thing you have to do is to go through the initial setup. This may take a few moments, so let's fast forward. And that's it. This Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is now factory reset, unlocked, and we should be able to use it without any issues. Now, in some cases, after performing a full factory reset on your Samsung Galaxy, it can still be locked to a Google account with a cloud-based locked, and this is called the FRP protection, or factory reset protection lock. And most Android devices have it. This problem is more common than what you might think, and it usually happens when you have forgotten your account password, or if you bought a second-hand Samsung Galaxy where the previous owner didn't properly unlink their account. If that's your case, we recommend reaching out to the previous owner and asking them to unlink the device. However, if contacting the previous owner is impossible, or if you have completely lost access to the Google account the device is locked to, stick around because we're going to do a process that will help you get your phone unlocked. The first step is to check if your Samsung meets the requirements to be unlocked. Specifically, we need to verify that the phone is clean and it has not been reported as lost or stolen, as we can only unlock phones that are clean. In other words, phones that are not blacklisted. To verify this, you need to get your IMEI number of your Samsung Galaxy. To do that, tap on emergency call on the lock screen. Then type star hash zero six hash and the IMEI number will show up in the screen. You can also find this number in the original box that the phone came in or in some cases in the back of your phone. Once you have your 15 digit IMEI number, we're going to switch to a computer or to a mobile device with internet connection. The next step is to go to the website unlockriver.com. I will include all the official links in the description of this video. Here we will have to verify that the phone has not been reported as lost or stolen we will select the blacklist check tool. You can find it at the top menu here. We will insert the 15 digit IMEI number we just got. Then type your email where you want to receive the full report to find out if the phone is blacklisted or not. By clicking this button, you can also see a sample to see how the report will look. So let's proceed. As you can see here, this check will cost around two to four dollars. So place your order and the report will get instantly delivered in your email. The email that you receive will look something like this. It brings a lot of information about your device, especially the IMEI number, phone model, but most importantly, the blacklist status. So this is very important. If your device is clean and it says true, this means that your phone is in good standing and good to go. Otherwise, if it's not clean, you will not be able to proceed to unlock your phone. Once we have confirmed that the Samsung meets all the requirements to be unlocked, we'll go back to Unlock River, and this time we'll select the Google Account Removal tool. The next step is to enter your IMEI number again, along with your email, and proceed to place your order. Let's proceed. In the following page, you will see a summary of your order, check the delivery time, and it's usually quite fast. So after placing your order, and once your unlock has been successfully completed, you will receive an email. This email will look something like this. You will see that the Google account lock has been successfully removed and it will include instructions on what to do next. Now we're gonna restart the phone. Once you power it on, proceed with initial settings and make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi. As you can see here, we have removed successfully the account from this device. And now we have the option to log into a new Google account or we can skip this for now. We're gonna proceed with final setup 
And that's it, our Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is finally successfully unlocked. I hope that this video helped you. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.